Welcome back, Acron fans! This is Shadow 53 with another exhibition match on Virtual Plaza this time. We're we'll be watching a match between Shadowdan and Cybernetic Pony. Shadowdan going very quickly for Vecchio in the northeast corner of the map, and Cybernetic Pony going for CISO. And it might as well be like this because this map is just that small. So, Virtual Plaza is a map that is very small. It's the smallest map in the game, and it's certainly a map that's actually been played surprisingly frequently recently between. I actually saw quite a few replays on game replays on this map. I'm quite surprised. Anyway, Shardan very quickly going for three RPs and an importer. A little bit surprising. I expect he'd have gone for two two or three importers, or three importers and two RPs, just because this map is so small, infantry rush would be deadly. Whereas Shardan is going for a very quick depot. Not at all surprising. It is surprising that he has Okay, there we go, moving his RPs into a better position. I should I should think he would go back and actually change where he built that RP. He has the time and the chronology with which to do so. And it looks like he is, in fact, trying to do exactly that. There we go. He is doing exactly that. Just requeuing those RPs because he needs to have one on QP, one on LC, so he can get the vehicles up. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. Now, Cybernetic Pony is, like I said, focusing a bit more on economy than I would have expected. Whereas, Charadon is doing exactly what I'd expect him to do on a map this small. And Cybernetic Pony moving in with his infantry, going for a very quick rush. And why is he going for QP? Okay, Cybernetic Pony is doing some odd things. He's going for QP early on. I don't know why, but he is. Perhaps he's trying to do a infantry supported tech rush? Maybe build another marine and then just go for a quick macro fab. That would that would be really surprising and absolutely bizarre. I can't imagine how that would even work out. Anyway, Shardan gunning his counterattack with his Teth and Shinveer. Not that they can really do too much. I mean, they deal some damage and. Actually, given there's no defenses, they could take care of these units pretty well. In fact, the importer going down very quickly, or will be going down very quickly. Cybernetic Pony, about 10 seconds down from there, keeping his infantry at home to defend against this. The infantry from Shardan will not get through this time round. And Shardan, on the other hand, should be building up a Zion Pulsar any time now. And there we go, there's a Zion Pulsar coming in. Now, Cybernetic Pony is able to get rid of the infantry before they deal any damage whatsoever. Or never mind, they deal... Two attacks worth of damage. Deal very little damage. And there's a quick factory coming up. 116 mark. Not at all surprising for a map like this. But Shardan, there's that Zion Pulsar, and he should be moving forward with it. I don't think he's going to go for Skip Teleport, but he might just... Actually, you know what? I think he's going for Skip Teleport. He's keeping that at home and probably waiting until he gets the money for it. No, he is not going for Skip Teleport. He is going to be building another Zion Pulsar with that. He's getting just enough funds for Zion Pulsar. 15 Q Plasma, he has 17, so that's just waiting on the Liquid Crystal for a second sign Pulse to come in. Well, Cybernetic Pony building up that factory, probably going to build quick ATHCs from there, using all of his reserves for that, and his infantry at home. I think he lost infantry. Did he lose infantry in that attack? I don't see anything. Yeah, he did have a unit die. Shardan just killed one of his infantry to his Zion Pulsar from the looks of it, and Surprisingly, Cybernetic Pony does not see this. I guess the infantry did manage to spend it off eventually. No, they didn't! There we go! Now there's actual attacks being done. Cybernetic Pony is dealing quite a bit of... They're getting dealt quite a bit of damage here. Shardan... Shardan getting rid of the infantry that Cybernetic Pony had. I don't see... I mean, actually, from here, his infantry were going down to the... To... Yeah, Cybernetic Pony actually did lose a Marine to these units from the looks of it. Between the Tethmere and the Shinbeer, surprisingly, it looks like he... No, he had lost one, but he no longer will. He's going to keep it alive long enough to kill off the Shinbeer. While Shadowdan doesn't really need to worry about that, he's most worried about getting these units built up. And Zion Pulsar doing a great job getting rid of the infantry coming in, but the real concern is that factory, what's going to be built up from there. Though Cybernetic Pony needs to go back and retreat with his infantry. He needs to get out of the way. I, granted... The Zion Pulsar will hit the factory if he does that. Bit of a risk. Although the Zion Pulsar is hitting the factory in the level past and not the, the Marines, there's a chance the Marines will be able to get it and hit it and not have to worry about getting killed by it. But it looks like even with that, there's not much way that Cybernetic Pony can get out of this. Cybernetic Pony needs to just get out of the way. <laughs> there's really not much he can really do. He does have his factory built up at a 2 minute mark and... Shardan does not quite have the second Zion Pulsar built up, 147 mark. It looks like he is building it where Cybernetic Pony is focused. Now Cybernetic Pony should jump back about 10 seconds from then. 
But now his factory is done. Getting a Lancer. Actually, why did I say ATHC? Of course he's going to get a Lancer. The ATHC would not do as well against the Zion Pulsers. The Lancers will. Seeing as Lancers are air units and Zion Pulsers cannot hit air. But Zion Pulsar doing what he can in the meantime to harass as best it can. And this factory is still taking a lot of damage. Now, Cybernetic Pony at the 238 mark does have his Lancer built up. And Shardan at the 256 mark, he's actually going... He's playing in an Echo. He is not playing in the real timeline. What he needs to worry about is already here. The Lancers are being built, and they will be up in time. It's to stop the Zion Pulsar from doing anything. So what Shardan sees here is not correct. However, what this Lancer we see here is actually doing what it can... Why is the Lancer attacking its own factory? Okay, Cybernetic Pony deciding apparently that the game is too easy and switching over to killing himself. Just try to even the playing field. It's being nice like that. He's a nice guy. Apparently. But yeah, Shardown's gonna need to get Ted Pulsers. Very quickly gonna need to go possibly go back and get him, but he has no time to go back and get him. He can't go back and get him, but he needs to get him. He needs to do something to get them because that's the only way he has to deal with the area. Well, Teth Veer actually be a better choice, but... Teth Veer, Teth Pulse would help for the tanking part of it. But Teth Veer, what he really needs, and he can afford them right now. He actually afford two or three. And it looks like he is switching over to Q Plasma in order to do that exact Teth Pulsar build. Trying to get a Zion Pulsar around the side, and it's actually doing a pretty good job. The Lancers. No, the Lancers! We do spot it! Not quite good enough of a job. However, if we went along the west side of the map, it probably would work. Well, actually, it probably wouldn't work. Saturday Pony still has enough vision to see it. So, another Zion Pulsar going down for Sharadan. And Sharadan, not quite enough money for that... Oh, actually, this is for the, in the past 350 mark. And Cybernetic Pony trying to just go for a finishing blow with the Lancers. Zion Veer doing what it can against the Lancers and will be able to damage one of them, but not be able to kill them. Being that it wasn't attacking it for the last little bit, that's not at all surprising. But a Teth Pulsar is being built up at the 445 mark. And it looks like Cybernetic Pony has... Decided to commit to an attack at the 411 mark, which means before that Teth Pulsar comes in. However, Shardan does have the cash for it right now. He can build it and he will. There it comes in. Shardan does have the Teth Pulsar coming up. And Cybernetic Pony is not building any more Lancers yet. He is moving his units, moving his RPs back to the Liquid Crystal and no longer building Lancers. Probably going to switch, possibly ATHCs, probably just switch up to tech, maybe. Or maybe just get Marines and build more RPs. And at this point, he's won. I mean, there's no. There's no way that Shardan could be, or he appears to have won at least, the Teth Pulsar will possibly change that, being that it is dedicated to anti-air unit and the Lancers aren't particularly good against ground. I wouldn't be surprised if the Teth Pulsar did its job, but hard to say, the Teth Pulsar is still taking a lot of damage, four Lancers is a lot to deal with, able to get rid of one at the cost of itself, and Shardan jumping back, he might try to re it, try to get it into the depot, but no, not able to do that, and that Teth Veer goes down. I think that's game. Yeah, that's... That's game. Shardan unfortunately did not get orders to get it at the depot in time. It got a bit delayed in taking that order. So, a bit of a re, re micromanagement failure, and that is the game. I mean, Virtual Plaza is a map that's going to make games like this, just due to its size. It's kind of one of the reasons why I tend to encourage maps to be large rather than small, because large maps tend to avoid early game issues like this. And there's the ATHC coming up and another one not being produced. Probably will be soon, but Cybernetic Pony has won this game. And Shardan will be surrendering. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was the game. And we're moving on to a third game tonight. So stay tuned. This one will be longer.